सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू चैनल गेट टू वाइट वंस अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टेक्सिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स सो आई हैव एक्सप्लोर्ड एंड आई हैव शोन द वीडियोस ऑफ एवीएम माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स एसटीएम 32 कंट्रोलर्स नॉट ये कंट्रोलर्स आल्सो आई हैव इट्स वन वीडियो एंड सो नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद अनदर सेमीकंडक्टर फैमिली ऑफ अ कंपनी अ फैमिली ऑफ कंपनी दैट इज टेक्सिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स so with the texas instruments i am going to start today and it's bow texas instruments 430 which is a development kit uh, for texas instruments 430 g2553 mcu so we'll be starting with it in this video introductory video i am going to tell you about the uh, about this texas instrument microcontroller setup environment setup and then from the next video we will going to start its bare metal coding with covering different time variables so now without wasting time let's get start so now if we go to the texas instruments website of which this microcontroller is and on which we are going to do this bare metal coding the vendor specific so texas instruments in this we will go to the products and now in it we will go to the microcontrollers and microprocessors so here you will see it in the microcontrollers there are three categories arm based controllers real time controllers and the msp430 controllers so arm based controllers are much like the stm32 f1034 g and all the stm32 family which are based on the arm cortex m4 m03 m0 m1 processors based m3 msp430 controllers is what we are going to focus on these are comparable to the stm8 as avia microcontrollers which are applicable for small end applications and which are of 16 bit microcontrollers okay and msp430 microcontroller family has wide number of controllers in it which are being categorized according to their different applications memory size and these things in the msp430 one which we are going to focus is on the msp430 g2 series okay so first of all what we will do first of all we will understand the design and development we will get to know what all tool chains you need to set up for programming the texas instruments msp430 line of microcontrollers so first coming to the ide software development kit that we need so software development kit will be all integrated inside a in ide which is eclipse based and which is being built by the texas instruments that is code composer studio so it's in an ide which is based on the eclipse it from which we can debug our firmware write our firmware for wide number of controllers provided by texas instruments not only msp430 but their other arm based and real time controllers also so texas instruments cc com com code compiler studio you can download it easily it's in a very easy interface for downloading it just download it its window executable file and just the do the lido installation so when you will open it like the uh, the kind of interface will be like this i have written some of the codes over here so yeah okay and this is the code compiler studio which is just much more like uh, similar to the eclipse now in the development ecosystem for the msp430 mcu there are number of other platforms also like msp feed academy wheels of but these are of not of a much uh, need for us for the current requirements as we would just normally want to do the firmware development on msp4 3 cus making drivers for different peripherals in the application code one thing which can be helpful is the msp430 software aware software so this is kind of like stm32 hcl which has some pre built libraries examples of the packages for uh making for for the msp430 series on microcontrollers but the it doesn't have proper apis like hcl has so these are just example packages and some uh pairs of header files and source files that i will make you explore in just a couple of minutes but before it now like that's the main all things that we need to need that we need for our id setup and software development now the controller which we are going to use is the msp430 
G2 series, uh, 430 series, and it's G2 ET microcontroller. So G2 is the family of microcontrollers by the of the MSP430, and it's an a launch pad which is being designed for the uh, G2 series of microcontrollers. And this is the exact uh, launch pad that I have also with my hand, and I hope most of you. Uh, also have get know about this if you are familiar with the Texas Instrument controllers. So we will be using this hard hardware development kit. Okay, and it this kit it's just like an a development board which supports number of peripherals. So it has number of uh, breakout pins for using the pin all the pinouts of the microcontroller online the debugger also and then uh, some uh, input output LEDs and the switch buttons. So let's go to its technical documentation. And out of these three, this one and this one is the one which will be our main requirement. Okay. So this is the launch pad user guide. Okay. You, I will recommend that you can go and just explore this user guide at first, so as to understand the board very uh, in depth. Also, what what are features does the board have? What all its spin out is how it it has the onboard debugger and the Texas Instrument debuggers are being known by Energy Trace technology. Okay, and it has the onboard switch button and onboard two LEDs which are at P one point zero and P one point six. Okay, and there are many other features of this board which has and they are very well explained on this document doc. So I will. on the dock of this uh, microcontroller it is specified that this my this launch pad comes by default with the G2553 microcontroller which is powered by Texas Instruments but we can have use it for other two microcontrollers also by having them externally so you can explore this documentation to know more in depth about this development board of the MSP430 G2 ET which is launch pad okay so now i will go to the microcontroller okay so we have the controller which will be uh, using is the msp430 g2553 it's a 16 bit microcontroller based on the 16 kilobytes of flash and it has number of peripherals uart i2c spi timer, timer adc and other things also so now i will just give me uh, make you aware that what all important documents we will be needing for making the firmware on this controllers so first and foremost is of course the data sheet okay which will be having all the peripherals uh, description about all the peripherals and their registers and uh, all the inner details that will be required okay and the user guide right, this the data sheet will be generic one for the msp430 x2 xx as we are using msp430 g2 so this a uh, user guide will be applicable for the controller of this also and just we have to see that what all peripherals are there in this controller and correspondingly we will see them see those peripherals and registers from the data sheet now this is the data brief of the MSP430 G2 X53 and we are using G2553 so this very well suits our requirement and these two docs will be a very much important and this doc which is the data brief contains all the features which are being there in G2 F553 controller it has uart i2c spi it also supports with the uart advanced peripherals like irda synchronous spi lin protocol and there are timers also it has 6 to 16 bit timers 24 Uh, uh, for PWM generation, input capture generation, and many other features are in this thing. So these two, like you just like kindly take with you uh, these two data brief and the data sheet of MSP four three zero G two five five three controllers. And another thing that we will be needing is the code compiler studio. So now let me just navigate you to the new. Okay, workspace so that you can get an overview that what an empty workspace looks like. So when you open the MSP if, uh, Code Compiler Studio and I have opened a new uh, workspace, this is pretty much like when you open your Code Compiler Studio at first time. This is just ignore this. This is the code which I, the only one single project I have created. So this is the much similar to the Eclipse IDE. 
it has over here file edit view and all other here from here we can run our from here we can pro build the project what uh, what sort of projects which you have opened in the project explorer and this is a text editor okay now one thing which i want to show you in the code compiler studio is the resource explorer now resource explorer is a kind of like a platform which is being given by the texas instruments which has all the documentation software packages development tools for its microcontrollers for its uh, de development devices code compiler studio ir artos its texas instruments has its own artos and free artos apis and all those things so it's texas resource explorer is like a that platform from where you can get all the information all the documentation development tools and those things related to uh, docs and things for for, uh, for, te for developing your firmware and these things okay about the kits and ports integrated development environments development tools and then here is the device documentation specific microcontrollers and their whole user guide data sheet data brief and these are the software packages for different microcontrollers and the application codes so resource explorer is also very important one so as to understand different tools devices for to write different firmwares uh, and to know about them okay and the resource explorer is available in the form of code inside the code compiler studio and we can access it from the view okay so these are the pretty much things which i want you to be familiar with to get started with the msp430 uh, microcontrollers okay and we will be starting with this msp430 launchpad and now in the next video i will be starting with the gpio peripheral and then uart i2c and making some application codes on them in the bare metal coding so till then that's it for this video see you in the next video